Hey guys, since it's bring your viewer to work day, I thought I would uh, do something a little different today and bring y'all to work. Kind of see what's going on and what we got to do here today. Uh, I work on a ranch and a farm part time, so it's, um, boss said we had a, a tree, mulberry tree down on a fence, so we got to go take a look at that and see about getting it cut off the fence so the cows don't get out. So to start with, we got to come up here and get the equipment and load it up because, of course, it's always on the back side of the pasture. Always. So, first things first is uh, we come over and he always likes to check the electric fence here at the end of the line, so. Well, you do that, stick a screw out between the hot and the ground fence. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's going tick, tick, tick. So that means it's hot, so that's still good. But, uh. Let's get the gauge open and go up here and get the, what we need. Get our stuff loaded up. You may ask why two saws? There's only one of me. Well, if you was to get one saw bound up, you ain't got to come all the way back. Bug spray. Lunch box. Never know how long you're going to be up there, so you want snacks and waters. Of course, you can see all the cows up there, but pasture we got to work on is actually down the road it's not this one battery pack for the camera because I don't know if it's charged uh, and coffee always coffee okay Go do this. Make, gonna make sure you lock it so the cows don't get out. They will come up and lick on the chains and undo them.
now to open up the gate for this pasture. Beautiful office, ain't it, guys? Small. Here's the electric fence again. You can hear that. So since we're going to be working down that way, we've got an unhook part here that it's not easy to unhook. Take it. Okay. That part's that part's not hot right now, so that one still is. So that way, if we do get into the fence, I don't know if you've ever been shocked by electric fence. Not the best feeling in the world. I'd rather not today. Problem tree. Assess this situation, guys, and uh, so we don't tear the whole fence down. This is the old fence on the property. All the rest of them are pretty new, but. Like a real hard task, but not an easy task. Our side. 
but the neighbors think it's got a disconnect down there and we want to make sure we go and hook it we don't want bed off of it yeah it's hot so we want to go back down to the creek and see I think he's got a disconnect down there on it and Pretty view, ain't it, guys? Beautiful day. We're gonna to try to get this all done before it gets hot. It's supposed to be up in the mid 90s today, so get this done, and then we gotta go clean our feedlot. Yeah, but there it is. That cut down and off the fence so it don't pull the whole fence down. Here's a floodgate we put in early this spring, guys. Worked on it. And you got pastures that cross creeks and stuff like this. These creeks up here, you get a lot of rain, just fill up. Little mini fast floods. Oh look, turkey feather. And this is a pretty hard one to do. Wind up running a cable all the way across, and then suspending other cables down just to get something put up. The theory is, you wouldn't think it, but when water has come up through here and limb stuff, it's got a temporary pole down there, it'll trip that pole and kind of let this gate swing open and back closed. If not, you can see all the cow tracks where they cross up and down. This gate in here, they'll just wander right up the creek and up out somewhere else. Oh, water's getting deep. There'd be a little fish in there. But yeah. This thing's tripped a couple times this year. We had some pretty good rains, but not like we could have had. Alright, we got the other fence unhooked. Get back up this steep bank. Go up here and do some tree cutting. There it is, guys. Got what I'm going to do to it. Didn't even tear the fence down. Didn't even tear me down. So, uh, we're going to go on up and check a few other spots while we're over here. And then, uh, go back and hook up all the hot wires. Make sure we get them done. We'd hate to leave them down and the cows get out. But yeah. There's that is. Let's get a drink and go we'll check some other fences.
thanks guys like our videos i know we're trying to get more and more on and do something different all the time but uh hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button and got any suggestions put them in the comments guys uh, we're always open for suggestions let us know what you do guys uh put it in the comments also again this is part of our day we really enjoy it we really appreciate every one of y'all thank y'all